guys it's Lam here again your tech guide and today's video we are going to be checking out the blood pressure the oxygen saturation and the ACG on the Samsung watch 3 so we're gonna find out if these tools will be the same or accurate with the ones that I have here and um, this is a side note, a quick side note regarding the Canadian Watch 3. For some reason, I couldn't download the Oxygen Saturation app on my Canadian Watch 3, whereas this one I ordered on Amazon.ca. For some reason, this version is the United version, and I was able to download the Oxygen Saturation with the ECG and the blood pressure app i had to download that um via link so in my next video i'll show you how to do that but for now we're going to see how accurate um the the app is when we compare it to the actual instrument that i've got over here so let's activate our oxygen saturation first so this will be Checking out our oxygen level to see how our breathing is like. If we are if we have enough oxygen. So here we go. How this thing works with the oxygen saturation. You just have to place your finger over here and it will start reading your oxygen level. On the top is the oxygen level, and at the bottom is your blood pressure. Alright. So from here, when I press the measurement, I'm gonna stop talking and uh, we're gonna see how the reading is like between these two. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna stop talking now. Okay, so it's asking me to make sure I reposition my hand properly here on the table. So let me try to do that again. Okay, so there's the reading, 96%. And the last one I saw there was 97. So it's very, very close. I'm gonna try to do that again. 98% so dead on both 98% guys so that's pretty accurate so we could rely on this so we'll do one more one more we'll make it three best out of three okay so 97% and 98% so by one guys this thing is pretty damn close and accurate all right, let's move on to the next one. We're gonna try to test out the ECG, but of course, I don't have the machine to compare anything to it, but uh, I'll just show you guys the, how it works. So there's your ECG app. All you have to do is press record and it will tell you the instruction what to do next. Press okay. All you have to do is just place your finger on the top button. Okay, and then it tells you here inconclusive. You get all this information. It shows your heart rate and so on. 
and it will show you on your phone as well so here is our reading and it will show you the ECG recording could not be classified if you feel unwell get so inconclusive so the test didn't go through we'll do it again okay so sinus rhythm this ECG does not show signs of atrial fibrillation and it gives you more information down here my blood pressure I mean my pulse okay and then of course it will show in your app view history it shows everything here guys so if you want to keep track and uh, if you don't feel too well you could just show this to your doctor and he will uh, the doctor will summarize your heart rhythm beat or something like that but anyways I don't know if I could trust this 100% compared to the oxygen saturation that one seems very accurate and now let's move on to the blood pressure so this one here I'm a bit kind of iffy you know I don't know how a watch can actually um, do a blood pressure on your wrist so this one is uh, questionable if it's accurate or not but let me just look at the app here here's the blood pressure app so I'm gonna place this on the opposite side of my arm as instructed so prior to activating the blood pressure you do need to to uh, measure your blood pressure with this cuff at the same time and then it asks you what the reading is is uh, three times so that's how we um, calibrate the app to make sure that it's accurate but for some reason after testing it out after the calibration the reading is uh, somewhat kind of off so I'm just gonna show you guys here a quick demonstration how this thing works and how the application is so I've already attached it to my arm here we're gonna activate the blood pressure app like so I'm gonna stop talking after I press the button here we go Oh wow, that's quite surprising. It's almost similar. 122 over 75, pulse is 111, whereas the machine is 122 over 81, pulse is 103. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Let me do this while I'm sitting so that we get a better accurate reading. So here we go again. Done measure okay and measure
121 over 73 121 over 73 and the pulse is 109 and the other one's 104 wow pretty pretty accurate guys not too bad we'll do last one and really see how how it is but i'm surprised yesterday i was way off but now it's just it's like right on there Okay, so this one's a little bit off. 120, 121 over 75. And the other one's 119 over 75. So off by two. And the uh, pulse is 109. The other one's 102. So off by two on this one. But I was surprised guys how uh, close they are. Really, really surprised. Okay, we'll do one more test. We have another one here. I think we're what? This video is going to be quite long, but anyways, let's do this. Just uh, see how accurate you are. We're going to do the, the, the pulse, the heart rate. So the same method, I've got this on continuous. And we're going to check the bottom part over here to see the reading. All right. So they are, this one's on continuous. It will fluctuate the reading. We are 102. And over here, we're at 122. 121. 102. Okay, hold on, this should fluctuate. We are at continuous measurement. There we go. 110, 108, 111. One twelve. One oh nine. One eleven. One ten. So one oh nine. One ten. I'm gonna try to stay quiet. So there you go. There's your blood, uh, your heart rate. They are pretty much identical, guys, and uh, pretty accurate. All right. So I don't know about the blood pressure um, app. Yesterday I was so off, and for some reason today it was pretty good. It was so close that it was like almost dead on accurate. But I'm gonna probably do some more testing on that tomorrow and see. Hopefully, if uh, it's consistent to what uh, I just tested today. But other than that, the other apps are pretty good, guys. They're pretty accurate. So once again, if you want to get these apps, the oxygen saturation, uh, make sure you order or purchase your watch 3 on Amazon. Because for some reason, or the US version or something like that. Because the one that I bought here from Canada, Samsung. Uh, at the Samsung store for some reason I did the update software firmware and still couldn't uh, get the oxygen saturation for it so it was a bummer guys that this thing doesn't come with it but other than that those apps are pretty awesome guys you know just to do a quick reference check on your health it's pretty cool that you could actually do it with a watch but of course you know 
I don't know how reliable or accurate it is. Um, you just have to pretty much feel what you would feel yourself, like your symptom wise. If you feel unwell, you know, it's better off to just make sure to get checked up properly instead of relying on this if you feel unwell, guys. All right. But it's cool to have it on the side. Just who knows, you know. But anyways, that's pretty much it. The video is quite long now. And once again, thank you for watching my video. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.